Well, let's see what I can do here. I'm just going to clean up a few screwdrivers. I picked them up. Uh, parts bin, pawn shop. Been looking for just dip oddball ones that I like to snap on and I like the S&Ks, which there's the snap on I got. I've almost left this thinking it was a junker just because of the way the handle was made. Anyways, uh, it's kind of a weird texture on this. Clean it up, get some more bits for this one. I think what I'll do is, uh, I think I'll just leave the flat tip in this one. Is it magnetic? Yeah, this one's magnetic and this one's not. Yeah, well, no, this one is too, cool. Uh, this one I can put bits ends in it. So I'll just stick a couple ends in there. I'll just keep these on my uh, work table. Set, clean them up just a tad and see what the see what they look like. I think I may have cleaned this snap on once already. Well. I think I only gave, I'm trying to remember, I think I only gave like, I don't know, I got less than 50 cents a piece in these screwdrivers, maybe less than that. 30 cents? I don't know. Goodbye no matter where. I think I got another one somewhere. I was trying to find all my screwdrivers. I've been uh, buying some old screwdrivers junk ones because I want to make some more files, clean up some more files, take the work, make some more handles. The ones I made previously uh, kind of kept some of them here at home. actually needed them today. Uh, working on the truck, the uh, O2 sensor, I had to, uh, I actually used the pick to uh, take the O2 sensor apart, the connection. Worked out pretty good, actually. And my fingertips, oh, my fingertips are so sore from messing with that sensor. Uh-oh, hang on. Sorry, guys. The wife. I need her to pick up some uh, white lithium grease. I'm gonna work on her garage door. Things starting to get loud. All right, let's see what we got here. Man, I wish I could find more of the snap-ons. Those things, I didn't realize they're so expensive. I guess anything says snap-on, high dollar. I'm going to, I don't know if this will really, Probably what I need to do is put uh, a, bu a small buffing wheel on the Dremel. <coughs> Excuse me. The uh, I can't remember what this plastic's called. I know you got to be careful on the buffing wheel because it'll definitely uh, it'll definitely uh, melt it. Definitely melt it off. Take a light buffing wheel, clean them up. I use these little screwdrivers, the little ones, all the time. I take a lot of locks apart at work. I am a locksmith, plumber, electrician, you name it, I do it. Whatever they tell me to do, I get paid to do it. Don't get paid enough, but that's all right. Facility I've been at, I've been at there 30 years, well, over 30 years. You know the operations, the building. Know where to 
lot of the a lot of the valves, some of the valves, the air conditioners. And we've got an air conditioner in our building. You guys ain't gonna believe this. It was installed in 1958 and we're still running on it. <laughs> that's a that's a uh, a good PMI maintenance schedule, buddy. We've got it down. <laughs> Replace the fan controls, replace the coil, replace the oh, actuators, you name it. A lot of that old stuff works off of uh, pneumatic air. Thermostats work off of pneumatic. That stuff's a booger. Old, old stuff. You know, like, very few people know how to do that kind of stuff anymore. Get these guys that come in and they scratch their head when they see it. It's like, yep, yep, you can tell he's not been in the field that long. Yeah, that looks pretty nice actually. I think I'm gonna leave it just alone because the more I wipe on that, the more I'll take the name and stuff off of it. I'm gonna hook up. I'm gonna hook up the buffing wheel just to see what it looks like. Okay, I have a variable speed. Might be easier to use this one. All right, be back in a second, fellas. Back again. Let's see what we can do here. do that. You know what? It might have been a mistake there. There's, I don't know, I need a different wheel. Damn it. I messed up, I think. I think, I think I did. Because I think I polished some Copper with this little wheel. You shouldn't really change. Yeah, that's what I get. Don't want to screw up. Do enough screwing up as it is. Let's see. makes a difference or not it may not well this one's beat up somebody's beat on it pretty good oh, you know what if I put some compound on that I think it might work get some compound I want to try something hopefully I don't screw up be right back all right from everything I read said red rouge on plastic so I'm gonna try it that's the worst I can do screw up Really tell if it's working or not.
I don't even know why I'm spending time on this. Screwdrivers will work no matter what, but I don't know. Somebody out there might like this. I kind of enjoy it. I think actually it's working. Taking some of the paint and stuff off that was in on it. I just realized if this was a fail, <laughs> I'd still show it anyways, but damn, that would suck if I marred up my good screwdriver. S and K's. actually seems to be working pretty good it's not taking a lot of material off it's kind of buffing the material so I have to see what it looks like when I clean it I don't know if you guys can tell but uh, that's it probably a waste of time but I got a little time don't matter I'm happy I'm done with my truck I got my truck all running good so I've got a scan tool a small computer scan tool I need to learn more about using it not a very good computer person so kind of sucks all right let's, let's, let's get a little cleaner on here see what it looks like some polish on it maybe polish it up might the polish might work better than the the uh, oh this rouge compound oh, stupid glasses are bothering me again probably doesn't help to have dirty hands either need to clean no, I didn't really do that much. I wonder if I put some polish on it. Hang on. Let's see if this works. Because this is a cleaner polish. Yeah, it's getting a little, it's got dirt or something coming off. All right, let's turn this on. Now I need a box knife. Try to clean the blade up this little, clean some of that rouge off. That should work pretty good. Yeah. It's not actually working. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I can see it polishing.
turning up the speed just a little bit. I don't like going too fast. I'm afraid it'll burn through. screwdrivers cost but people are going to laugh at me for cleaning these things I know somebody's just going to say why eh my tools my rules and for those of you that leave their tools in the back of your pickup trucks and your outside and toolboxes and get rusted and then somebody thinks they're trash and gives them away and puts them in garage sales, your wives, your girlfriends. Thank you. I like buying tools from you guys. Got here. I don't know. Not too bad. I need to practice some more. Anyways, yeah, I really need to. There's got to be a way to sand this plastic down. Look at the nicks and bumps and all in the top up there. I'm going to try some sandpaper. Well, guys, let's get back to you here in just a little bit. Yeah, I'll either screw up or I won't. I'm going to try some like 1500 or 2000 grit sandpaper. I'll be right back. All right, guys, I don't know if you can tell. I put it on a polishing wheel just to see if it polished the plastic. This one, it polished. I think it's better than what it was. It's hard to tell. Anyways, I'm going to try this one next. See what uh, the one marked Rex. I'll see uh, how shiny that does. I've never really haven't done this before, so see what we get this one's in better shape use a little WD and some 1500 grit on this matter of fact let's uh, let's do that now off to the side let's do the plastic first Probably a waste of time, but I don't care. My tools, I got time here to waste a little bit, anyways. Somebody out there might appreciate a little bit of. 
torque like this. I've never done it, so I thought I might as well try. Wet dry sandpaper with some WD-40 on it. And I'll put some polisher cleaner on it. Let's see what it looks like on the buffing wheel. I left the buffing wheel running over there. I need to get back over there and shut it off, but that's what happens when you get sidetracked. This one had a lot less nicks in it. All right, it's probably gonna be a dull finish now. Yeah, it's pretty dull. There's like a scratch right there. on it. All right, guys. It's kind of dull. Let me, uh, move you over to the buffer we'll take a look and see what that does all right guys what I did is uh, on the S and K's I went ahead and uh, used some 400 grit and then 800 grit with uh, wet dry sandpaper with WD-40 and then I put it on that soft polishing wheel that over there and I think it actually worked out pretty good I'm gonna have to look at before I started and then now it actually turned out pretty nice I think I don't know why I even did this because I'm going to use them quite a bit but what the heck these are S&Ks I gotta look up and see how much these are too found some bits cleaned up the number two that was in it in this one, I've got a number two, number one bit, a square point. Uh, use use them quite a bit nowadays. Anyways, that and got a flat tip. Just, I actually think it turned out pretty well. I kind of like the. I guess translucent color, green and white. You can definitely tell you got an S and K when you're holding it in your hand. Kind of like the snap on. You can tell when you got it in your hand. It's not a cheap little old screwdriver. Then I just put a little cleaner wax on them just to keep my grubby mitts from making them dirtier quicker. Keep them a little cleaner as long as possible. All right. Tell you what, I'm going to be right back. I'm going to look up the price of these things just to see what the silly things are. All right, guys. Man, these things are expensive. I didn't realize how high these things are. Uh, Snap-on, they don't make this model anymore. Uh, it's a red and black one now. And uh, just uh, found one on eBay, 26 bucks. And then uh, the uh, S&Ks, all three of these S&Ks, they don't make anymore. These are considered vintage, which kind of cool I didn't know that but uh, the 73507 the long one I believe this is 11 inch yeah 11 inch 
uh, this one is 1750. It's the only one I could find online was 1750. That was a good deal. I mean, I, I think I got like 30 cents in all these. I mean, a piece. One, two, three, four, five. I've got a dollar fifty in these. It's just amazing the cost of these things. Seven three five one four. Seventeen ninety nine to twenty nine ninety nine, and I I don't have the original tips except for one. So, and it is magnetic, so I put some extra tips in there. It's not broke. That's a that's cool, and it's heavier. It's it feels as heavy as the long one does. That's what's kind of neat. The handle on it's it's got some beef to it. The little one, uh, 70044, and that one's listed for $9.99. Yeah, things are expensive. Still got wax in there in the... Anyways, the last one, the color on this one is, I don't know if, if you guys can tell, the, it's darker. The, I don't know, it's uh, probably made a different factory, maybe a different assembly line. But uh, this one is a 70086, and it's $17.99 and $19.99. And that one is a 9.5. See, this one is a 8.5. Anyways, so I got, you know, almost $100 worth of screwdrivers. Can you imagine that? If you had to go pay for this stuff? Man, yeah, I didn't realize I had value in it. They cleaned up pretty good, though. I, I, I actually like, I think I probably could have took some more of the pitting off of this. I was afraid to use too heavy of uh, sandpaper. But that 400 grit and then the 800 grit and then the buffing wheel did pretty good. I was happy. Shine on that turned out really good. And then, uh, of course, this one. Rex, I don't know who you are, but uh, thanks for your screwdriver. Uh, pretty nice. I, I like the long ones. Especially getting in your, inside the pickup, getting down in the, under the hood of a truck. Especially your, some of your uh, drivers and stuff under there. The, the uh, trying to think the clamps on some of the, stuff on the pickup truck that was kind of hard to get to. Anyways, I do like the snap-on grip, but I, I'm, that's, God, 20, 20, 20, yeah, man. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, uh, video might turn out to be longer than I planned. I thought I was just going to do a little short video, but some of y'all out there might like, uh, you know, it's a good buy. S and K is a good screwdriver. Always have been. When I was a kid, I always it's always looked for S and K, uh, Industro. You know a lot of the old stuff. You know I know a lot of you guys remember Craftsman, but depending on what part of the country you lived in or part of the world for that matter, there was other brand, other brands out there. Williams. There's there's a lot of other ones. But anyways. Give me a thumbs up or subscribe if you would. Tell me what you like, what you don't like. And if you guys got some of these, uh, let me know if they come in a set because I couldn't really find anything showing a set of these. And uh, like I said, this uh, this one's a darker. The, the I don't know if maybe sat in the heat or something, but uh, or maybe, like I said, different assembly line. Who knows? Uh, I, I did notice they're not plated like like this. This is plated, but this has got a it's kind of got a texture to it, uh, and it's kind of a rough texture. Anyways, and they're all like that. Uh, guys, have a good evening. Enjoy it. Have fun.